You are now tuned in to the Project 365 Experience. Um, Andrew Wiggins. Very, 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 as a fellow Canadian, very happy for Andrew Wiggins. Um, he's getting a chance to compete for an NBA championship. Something that um, was very hard for us to visualize because we all know that Andrew Wiggins started off with the Cavaliers, um, started off with the Cavaliers, uh, got drafted by the Cavs, got traded to Minnesota, right? And then Minnesota, we said, oh, he wouldn't be able to win just because he's a good player, but he wouldn't be able to win. But now just see him lock in and be steady um, in a role with the Warriors. Um, that has proven to be all the difference because now – He's thriving, right? Andrew Wiggins, you're just focused on being Andrew Wiggins. And that brings up a good, a good topic because I think that not a lot of people think about that. Where so not everybody. So on a team, people's roles are different, right? So not everybody needs to be the superstar who handles the ball, who scores a lot, who um, takes all the shots, right? Who um, makes all the assists, right? You can lock in and be great at your role. And in Andrew Wiggins' situation, what the Warriors really needed him to do was just be aggressive off the ball. We have we have Steph Curry, we have Klay Thompson. They're going to do uh, a lot of. They're going to do the heavy lifting, right? But what we're going to do is we are going to put you on the best matchup, and you're going to affect the game defensively. And we talk about this, and I, I, I learned this from Earl Watson, okay? So the game of basketball is played into two, two planes, okay? The, you, play, you can play it in two ways, okay? Horizontally and vertically, okay? <clears throat> a lot of players struggle to find a vertical game. How do, you affect the, how do you affect the game vertically? And what people don't understand is that you affect the game uh, you affect the pace of the game by affecting it vertically. Now, what do I now, Coach? What do you mean by vertically? So, if we look at a court, if we look at a court, and if you hop on YouTube, you'll be able to see it. If we if we look at the court this way, okay, when talking about horizontal and vertical, and I'm going to try to narrate it. If you're watching it on the pod, if you're listening to to it on the pod, anything going north south, okay. North south, anything going north south, and how we could change the pace, right? How it goes up and down. Anything that goes up north south, that's a vert, that's vertical. How could you affect the game vertically? So, how could we affect the game vertically on defense? We could pick up full court, we could turn guys in the back court, right? Um, how could we affect the game vertically on offense? Maybe we could grab rebounds, we could block shots that could strike our transition. Maybe it's just sprinting to the corners, okay? So the horizontal and the vertical is the ways that we change the pace uh, of the game. Now, when we're talking about vertically, when we're talking about horizontally, sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> when we're talking about vertically, we're talking about side to side, horizontally, okay? Horizontally, especially in the half court, that's where you have your superstars. Your superstars are able to, your superstars are special in the half court, right? Looking at guys like LeBron James, if LeBron James or Giannis get the ball over here, right? These players are so dominant in the low post, posting up or just putting all that pressure on the rim that that forces the defense, right? So if I have an X on the opposite side, if you could visualize, if you have an X on the opposite side, now we're forcing defense to have to commit, and now we can make these passes to the weak side, and now we create for our teammates, right? So back to Andrew Wiggins. What Andrew Wiggins has been doing is locked into his role, and I'm going to change the pace of the game. I'm going to change it defensively. I'm going to, I'm going to add a vertical element to the game. So in this series, what Andrew Wiggins has been doing is he's been picking up Luka full court, picking up Luka full court. And we know Luka is a high-volume High, high he's a high volume in terms of having the ball in his hand uh for the dallas mavericks he's handling most pick and rolls probably 75 to 90 percent of the pick and rolls right um we know that he's going to 
score a lot. He's going to create for the corner guys to be able to catch and shoot. Okay. So Andrew Wiggins has found a niche. So again, talking about those underdog stories, really happy for Andrew Wiggins, really happy that he kind of gets a chance to um, potentially get um, an NBA championship. 